It's Sunday afternoon, ASN Gold Coast Premier League action here today at Arkansas Park, south of the border at Tweed Heads, as the Marlins host Madrabar Soccer Club in this clash. Again, Tweed know that nothing less than three points will give them a chance at surviving the automatic drop, um, and Madrabar will know in that fact a draw or a win here would guarantee them at least a playoff spot for the Gold Coast Premier League in 2020 season. And again, both sides have had their moments this year. Mandrabar particularly have had some chances in in games to just put together a full 90 minutes um, and they would trouble any team here. They've dominated sides in, in half periods and in, in first halves, but it wasn't to be for them this season. However, they had the opportunity here today to get the job done and he didn't start particularly too well for the Marlins, but a great start there for Jamie Boland's Madrabar side as Anthony Bly got on the score sheet here. Bit of hesitancy there by the Tweed goalkeeper resulting in, in a failed clearance. Just ricocheting into Bly and into the back of the net to give the Wallabies a 1-0 lead. Um, and again in this clash, a lot of free open play here um, from both sides. McPherson's shot rocketing into the bar. Again, that free kick there from Kolowos just going wide of the post in that clash. And again, a lot of strikes on goal, a lot of attempts from both sides here in the opening exchanges and eventually a penalty awarded for a handball. A bit unlucky to ricochet into his hand, but it did nevertheless. And Finnegan slotting the ball past the goalkeeper to get them back to 1-1. Keeper did choose the right way there, um, but was unlucky as the ball just beat his outstretched hand into the back of the net um, to level scores here at Arkansas Park. And Tweed had their tails up here. Some shots coming their way and free kick opportunities as it stayed 1-1 heading into the second half. And again, Madraba did come out there in the second half with a purpose, as you could see. Um, and eventually they did get their goal, a good left foot finish there, giving them their second goal of the afternoon. And the lead here through Luke McPherson, their captain, again, just beating the goalkeeper into the back post. Uh, for the 2-1 lead, and Madriba knew one goal would probably seal the game here, um, and that would be the end of it. Uh, again, a penalty awarded here for that uh, tackle from behind in the box uh, towards the Madriba player, and a quick penalty awarded there, and up stepped the player and scores. Keeper going the right way again, but nevertheless... The shot was good enough from Corey Hopkins uh, to get Madrabar's third goal of the afternoon um, and a two-goal advantage here. Again, the game opening up more and more as it went on. Uh, but again, a great save there by Sam Fowler, as you see again from Luke McPherson's left foot. Strong hand to deny him there and just parry the ball around the post. Um, but again, Madrabar obviously being the better of the two sides in this clash. And again, they deserved winners here at the end of the day. Again, Fowler just being called into action there. So it's the Wallabies that take all three points in the 3-1 lead uh, to be in the playoff spot as Tweed will play Coast League 1 action in 2020.